Hi guys, Jeff here from TAP. Just wanted to show you a case study that we got in the workshop today in regards to using thermal imaging cameras. So we've got this car come in, customers complain battery going flat. They've gone through three batteries in the last 12 months. Uh, ironically, being charged for every one of them each time. Uh, but obviously the battery's got some form of drain that a few people have looked at that haven't been able to know where the problem is. This very case, we use technology, and this is our thermal imaging camera. In our case, it's a snap bomber. There's many variety out there. If you're interested in what thermal imaging cameras can do for us in the automotive industry, go to Thermal Imaging Auto Diagnosis, uh, which is a, a Facebook page. Uh, it's run by a gentleman out of the UK. Fantastic ideas where automotive technicians are sharing where they're using their thermal imaging cameras. But we're well worth a look. But in this particular case, we've just fired up our thermal imaging camera and we can now go right over the car. So I know Brendan's had a couple of videos as well where we can find all sorts of modules that are staying awake, etc. This particular case, I've had a look inside the car, it's all cold, stone cold. So we're just looking for things with a bit of heat. Once we get the camera out under the bonnet here, straight away when I open the bonnet, you can see the camera is picking up that the battery is warm. So straight away we've got some warmth there in the battery as compared to the other parts of the car, which are all cold, we can, start, we can see, as soon as we go into the battery, we can see that there's some warmth in the battery. The reason for that is that we have a drain. Now, as, as we come over here towards the, the uh, looking at the engine, we can see that there's very much a, a hot spot right in there in the engine bay. If we go in a lot closer, we can actually get in right behind the alternator here. And we can see that it's actually the alternator regulator that's actually glowing uh, there. So we can actually see that there's a lot of warmth right there in that particular part. So once it calibrates itself, we can actually hone in on the component to see exactly which part of the component has actually got the, 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 the hottest points. So it's just looking at that uh, thing, very, very accurate, very, very precise. So again, in this particular case, it's a very, very easy diagnosis and we're just working out where the battery drain is. I've gone over the rest of the car, there are no other hot spots. It's sat here overnight in our workshop, so it's nice and cold. Uh, and we can go go over with the thermal imaging camera. So don't forget that Facebook page, Thermal Image Auto Diagnosis. Have a look at that that Facebook page. It's a fantastic ideas where other technicians are, uh, are using their thermal imaging cameras uh, in all sorts of ways that you wouldn't have thought of uh, yourself. This particular case, nice, easy diagnosis. We can now contact the customer, let them know what the problem is and what we need to do to fix it. See you next time.